Hey, Shalom, Shalom. I'm going to start off by giving all praises. Or, Kah Halal, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bahar Kakadash. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bashim Kakadash, Brakatham. Uh, this lesson is going over, uh, you know, the the parable of the hired laborers. This isn't uh, a reply. This is in reference and and or a reply to what the apostles did. Um, Elder Tahar, Apostle uh, Apostle Gabar, Apostle Ramlab. Um, this is some BS. You know, pretty much about breaking down. You know, scriptures wrong. Um, now they went into it. Um, the brother Saint Benji. You know, also from the from the shy uh, region for the Chicago camp, they all went into it. Um, you know, so I would suggest, you know, you you watch the videos. Abaratz, I just leave the links to their videos in the description box, so you brothers can check that out and be edified. Uh, what I wanted to go, go into in in respects to that is that, you know, for you brothers that may have came in late, you know, we're in a different time. You know, and uh, I often relate, you know, how I came into the truth compared to new and um, have expectations of brothers based off of that and reference to that. But that's not the uh, the right way. The, re the reason is going into this very same chapter that we um, and the reason why I say that is because there's a plus and a minus about it. When we came into the truth, we had to dig more, you know, um, hey, let's go back to the apostles when there weren't phones and things like that, you know, so uh, they had to dig more, they had to do this, they had to do that. So, you know, we're in a different time where information is more, uh, uh, is at the tip of our fingers via through the phone. So, you know, um, and, and, and as, as this information increases, the as the scriptures say, knowledge increases, our information increases, Satan increases, everything is moving in the direction of getting up out of here, you know what I'm saying, to where information is accessible because we're almost at the end of this thing. You can get you can get up to a level that it took years for certain brothers to get on, you know what I'm saying, information-wise. It could take you probably months or days even if you study hard enough to get on a level where it took a brother a couple years or a year, you know what I'm saying? Getting into the Hebrew, you don't gotta go get this book, you know, that book, you know what I'm saying? You can PDF it, you know, and, and, and there's audio books, there's, you know, so there's, uh, we're in a different time, all right? So I wanna read this scripture so to get it, to get it um, in, in perspective, okay? Matthew 20 and verse 1, it says, For the kingdom of heaven is like unto a man that is, a, that is an householder, which went out early in the morning to hire laborers into his vineyard. And when he had agreed with the laborers for, for a penny a day, he sent them into his vineyard. And he went out about the third hour and saw uh, um, others standing idle in the marketplace and said unto them, Go ye also into the vineyard, and whatsoever is right, I will give you. And they went their way. Okay, so that vineyard is just, you know, pretty much us working out on the highways and byways. That's on the, um, YouTube. That's the vineyard. The vineyard is, 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 is uh, synonymous with the field. You know what I'm saying? That's just the people. You know, we're going out uh, um, and gathering, okay? It says, uh, and about the eleventh hour, he went out and found others standing idle, and said unto them, Why stand ye, uh, ye, uh, ye here all the day idle? They say unto him, Because no man hath hired us. He saith unto them, Go ye also into the vineyard, and whatsoever is right, that shall ye receive. All right. And these people want to work too. That's another thing, you know. I think is very uh, key to this this uh this chapter or that verse you know that they they was looking waiting to be hired okay yashikar he is hired all right so i can trying to this paper's acting janky man That's some weird shit i said so when even was come the lord of the vineyard said unto his steward 
Call the neighbors, call the laborers and give them their hire beginning from the last unto the first. Okay, so um, there's a ranking system, there's an order. All right. But at the same time, that penny is synonymous with our salvation. That's our payment for doing this work right now. All right. This work right now, even though this is the right thing to do, this is what we're supposed to do. But the Lord, uh, through grace, put the spirit on us to do it. And we are physically counteracting that spiritual uh, uh, grace. So the Lord chose us to be the elect, you know, before the womb. But it is an action that we're carrying out and we will be rewarded for um, we will be rewarded for that action, which is going on hitting the highways and byways. But again, it's the Holy Spirit that gave us the, uh, uh, the unction to do so. You know, that's just the way the Lord works. His ways are higher than our ways. His thoughts are not our thoughts. Long story short, he chose us before the world to be a prophet. And we're spiritually going to be a prophet, but we're going to be rewarded for being something that he programmed us to be, if it makes sense. Okay. It says, and when they came, uh, and when they came that were hired about the 11th hour, they received every man a penny. But when the first came, they supposed that they should be they should have received more and they likewise receive every man a penny and when they uh had received it they murmured against the good man of the house saying the these last have wrought but one hour and thou has made them equal unto us which have borne the burden um and heat of the day but he answered one of them and said friend i do thee no wrong Didst not thou agree with me for a penny? Take that thine is, and go thy way, and I will give unto this last, even unto thee. Um, is it not lawful for me to do what is uh, do what I will with um, with my own? Is thine eye evil because I am good? So the last shall be first, and the first shall be last. For many uh, many called, but few are chosen. You know what I'm saying? So this is going into the, even though this is going into the aspect of, you know, um, the last, the first complaining about the last. All right. That's not the angle I'm picking up from. I'm, I'm, I'm using that as an angle is that we all do the work, but there's people that come in early and there's people that come in late. We all going to get salvation and we can't complain about people that are younger younger than us coming into the truth. But also, when you pop into a time slot, right? So what I mean by time slot, if, if I started in this truth, uh, I was about 24 years old. You know, I've been in truth for 10 years, which means I physically, through through my age, I had the ability to come in at 15, 16, 13, I had that ability. The Lord didn't grant me that um, that time slot. But if I would have popped in at 13, the requirements for a 13 year old at that time, based off my age, would have been a different criteria. All right. Just like they say, we have told during the heat and this and that. I may have missed certain amounts of heat, like the 2000 area you know because I, I came into the gospel about 2005 2000 really it was 2009 you know i learned a little bit but it's just was in the world you know and you know the, the lord put the spirit on me to to um, make that transition um before we was even putting gms in front of our names you know what i'm saying and um if i would have came in before then in 2000 that's a certain amount of heat or, or labor that's that 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 you have to work overtime doing doubles you know and i can't sit here and and, and and hang that over someone's head but at the same time you get your due respect but you get the same reward which is that penny because there's a last and there's a first all right so um the 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 people that are coming in into the later time slots just because i came in at 24 the same thing that's expected for a 24-year-old when I started is not the same expectations for a 24-year-old that were to start today because 
there's too much information now. There's too much that's expected of you to accomplish what you're supposed to do within this gospel. Um, so, you know what I'm saying? I brung that out in reference because, you know, you can't look at us and think you could just pop in and do what Elder Tahar is doing, doing what this brother's doing, because as time allotted, you know, you can't say, well, what, why he get to do this? Why, you know, look, we all working for one penny, but certain people are working on all cylinders and certain people are just starting up. There's a lot that goes with you. You can't just insert yourself and then you're hitting the ground running. For some people, it works like that based off the uh, 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 the amount of spiritual uh, increase that the Lord bless you with, such as your grace, your fervency, your, ver your fervency, your virtue. Some people have some more than others, but you can't. Uh, uh, what's not allowed is that you're looking at, well, they did it like this when they were young, or this is what they did. Now, nah, this is the time that's required. So. You have to go through your milk. You got to go through all the process. Some are faster than others. Some are expected more, you know. And it's, to be frank, in this time, you got to be more disciplined, man. You can't uh, uh, just wing scriptures. When I first came into the truth, it, it was it was a little bit more tolerable. You know, I remember, I forget the guy. Oh, man, he is for the guy in Seattle. We got an afro. I forget the guys, you know, I don't think he's in the gospel anymore. I don't know exactly, but there's a guy that broke something down wrong. He went through the proper orders. You know, it was like more of a, okay, you can't do this. And, you know, and the same situation happened now. You know, that brother in Alabama broke something down wrong. And it's, it's a different reaction because the spirit is like the wind. It goes wherever it listeth. And the spirit, the wind of the spirit right now is not tolerating inaccurate breakdowns. You know, not something that you may have misunderstood, but something that you're just, you're supposed to know, but you do not know. You know what I'm saying? And most of that comes from not being, not doing your due diligence or trying to go about being extra, being, you know, bringing a new revelation. This thing is not about bringing our new revelations. It's about teaching directly and correctly. All right. Back in the day, we were more aggressive. We we're more volatile about all that. But now we're not. We're chilling. You know what I'm saying? And we're not chilling in the manner that we just letting everybody do everything. Everything is doing what it's supposed to do. So we people aren't getting getting as upset even though they're on edge, but they're not as upset when we mention the MOTB. You know, they're not as upset when we talk about Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans are the chosen children of Israel. We're the only Israelites. It's only scoffers that really get upset. I'm talking about the general public. Based off knowledge being increased, everybody's wake. It's a, it's a, it's a flow. The Lord is a massive chess player. Not only do we teach a certain way, but the, the, the people adapt a certain way through time, not adapt, but the time fits to where we're more teaching on subjects, saying what it is, and we move along. The time that we're in allows that because everything is manifesting. So we don't have to go all into something about being an Israelite. We don't have to go all into that. We don't got to go all into why America is Babylon and go all into that. We could, we could just mention it in these times and we can move along. So to sit there and fight with somebody all, all day about if we're Israelites or not is a waste of time, you know. But, you know, 10, 15, 20 years ago, that was a fight worth battling. But right now is a waste of time. If you can't get that, the uh, 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 RFID chip is the MOTB, then we're moving along. You know what I'm saying? You can't get that Negroes, Latino, Native Americans or Israelites. We're moving along. You can't, you can't understand the Lord's dark skin. All these... Uh, 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 subjects you know what i'm saying we're really dealing with more of a um stabilizing um prophecy i can't say but stabilizing doctrine and and um going in constant prophecies because everything is on the news every day boom 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 if you're not going over the news you should be going over antiquities if you're not going over antiquities you should be going over the language you know but overall when we're talking about something that's 
in these times is mainly about prophecies and, and it's not that hard you can look up on an article you can go on any any news outlet and find something that's worthy of a lesson uh prophetically and that's the time where we're definitely in is prophecy hey stay strong stay diligent don't do this don't do that when they do this don't do this we're in that time because it's manifesting so much that we're not saying if if and when this happened this is what you should do no it's happening right now so all we got to say is don't do this hey they're trying to get you to do this don't do this and this is why this is what the scriptures say you know and this is what time we're in and if you and, and this is another thing for those who sit there and think that we're going to always be here all day and doing that this should be proof this should be proof to you that times change opportunities change the gospel change we could be in front of you having all day to talk to you about a certain subject you come to us two years later after fucking off and then come back and thinking we're going to entertain that same subject matter and we're going to be like we ain't talking about that no more and you and, and and most people think that us as prophets we're ministers but we're not vending machines we go off the spirit so whatever the lord wants us to speak on and edify on that's what we're going to edify on if you walk up to us and, and, and you got a, a question that you should know, even if you don't know it, the spirit might be like, hey, bro, get out of our face, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, and, and a person may feel like th that we owe them the service. Again, prophets aren't vending machines. You can't put a quarter in and punch a number in and then get what you want. You know what I'm saying? Everything's free that comes out of here, but some days it got the snacks you like and some days it don't. So you better be appreciative of what's in front of you when you get it, you know? And that's how it is within this doctrine. You better be appreciative of what it is when you get it because you, it ain't about how you want it, all right? And um, lastly, you know, brothers, that's why we have, uh, uh, as as one of the lessons I think Apostle Ramla was doing earlier today, is just seeking counsel, man. If you don't know something, go and ask. Like, Like, it ain't that bad to not know something you know i understand when you get into this truth you feel like you know everything about the scriptures because you you know nine times out of ten you're right but there's things that we don't know we have the hundred percent truth because as a body somebody has the information as a body we all understand one thing but you may not you may not have came across a subject in this particular case i think that the brother was intention was to to try to reach as they say in battle rap that was a reach he reached and he reached too far to where he just um um stuck his hand down a tunnel that he couldn't get his arm out of you know and and just being presumptuous right uh i don't think he had malicious intent but he it was a, i believe it was a carnal action that produced carnal carnal results all right same as uh, uh, it reminds me of the story of uh, um, one of our brothers in Maccabees when when he went out to go to war. The action in itself seemed admirable, but his uh, intentions was to make a name for himself. And then the elephant fell on him and he went to, to go to a war that he could feasibly win. He reached, but he overextended because he did something he wasn't supposed to do. You know, so you got to stay within order. If you do not know something, you know, you don't know something. Ask somebody, man. It doesn't take that much out of you. Like somebody's going to everybody's going to point and laugh at you. Oh, this nigga don't know what that mean. Oh, oh. I don't know what it is that stop brothers from asking. Because once you know, you know, right? If you if I if I hypothetically not saying that this is true but hypothetically if i were to call apostle one of the apostles and ask them a question about the scriptures and they tell me a wrong answer this is hypothetical because it's never happened and i don't think it would happen but they tell me a wrong answer and i teach it right they can't double back and say and, and react the way that they're reacting to uh the brother you know what i'm saying because that's what they they told me out of order and I, i'm just following order you know what i'm saying now granted like i said this is a thesis because they're not going to tell us nothing wrong for the uh for the most part i i haven't came across it everything is sincere everything is accurate 
um, everything is right. And if they don't know, they say, well, you know, we in some type of way, we'll either find out or we'll just leave it alone for that point of time. You know what I'm saying? But long story short, your answer, your question will get answered in a proper way. You know, so all you have to do is ask, man. You know, if they're if the scriptures tell you have counsel one many, but one counselor, a godly man as a counselor, uh, 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 Timothy had Paul, you know, everybody has somebody they can reference to. OK, um, just because you became the man in whatever diaspora you're in doesn't make you the man everywhere you go. OK, I may be a camp head here, but if I go to Chicago or anywhere I, I am an automatic foreigner. And then, then you got another where brothers may rank higher than me. You know what I'm saying? You got to know how to plug and play. Okay? Not just everywhere I go, everything got to attach to me. You can't be like an iPhone. You know what I'm saying? Within his, within his body. But you should be only connected to iPhones at the same time. So we only connect to brothers that's within our doctrine. You know what I'm saying? That's where we plug and play. That's the only thing we plug and link to. But you have to understand that some places are operating at different speeds. Some places are operating a different way. And you have to plug and play to help that that uh, that diaspora out, which is pre pretty much a congregation of people. OK, so uh, overall, man, observe the times. Don't be presumptuous that this should not this should not be a spirit that is coming back because we're too far along in this thing for people to be presumptuous. You deserve a smack on the back of the head. You deserve one of those good little eh, you're like what you doing? You know better. Like it's just common sense not to just make something up like that. Nobody spoke on things like that. Nobody do things like that. Not, you know, speaking on a brother from Alabama, but it, it still applies. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, pray to brother get it, you know, get squared away, and I, which it looks like he will. But at the same time, like you shouldn't be making those type of mistakes. Those type of mistakes are are, are not acceptable. And I'm speaking as addressing, um, you know, brothers that are around me within within my my congregation. You know, as as a stern stern warning, because we all are one body. Hey, pay attention to that because this is not acceptable. Okay. And, and, you know, I just wanted to put that out there and hopefully it's edifying because, look, man, we're in a different time. This is the time of, of being transparent, to be frank. If you don't know something, there's too many people. You could just put GMS and, and whatever subject you're struggling with and it'll give you the answer. We didn't, I didn't have that in my time. You know what I'm saying? It's a new way, a new dictionary way to go over something, you know? You got an encyclopedia of lessons on YouTube. Whether they shut them down or not, brothers putting out so many lessons that, you know, uh, um, that they're available, which leads me to another thing. I'm just going to be the last thing I'm going to say before I shut it down is that, as they said, you don't got to go over all this meat and this and this and that. Go over something simple because every brother needs something. Some brothers haven't went over this. Some brothers haven't went over that. So it's okay to to brush up on some or go over something that you're confident in and post it if it, if this truth gets boring to the point that you need to put some spice ass and pizzazz into it like it's a relationship you tripping man all right you need to fall in love with what you fell in love with you know what i'm saying and you need to love what you fell in love with you know so teaching is truth and, and, and educating everybody the right way is the thing that you should fall in love with. So teaching directly, correctly, and accurately is the one of the main things you should be able to love. Because making these mistakes, and the brothers that do this, you haven't seen this part. You know what I'm saying? Us, us being young and the, and the younger, um, older brothers, they've seen this part. That's why you don't see it much amongst brothers that are of age that are older than me. You don't see because they they went through, if they went through it. But from what I've seen, this situation that came about, and every, the congregation was like, "Yeah, I don't want to. I don't want to go through that." All right, and that's uh, that's why the scriptures say, "Rebuke before all, so others may fear." Man, all right, this ain't no uh, shame or anything. This is to make sure that us as a body 
are working and not making these continuous mistakes <clears throat> you, you know when you ever when you go to work and you see a sign saying don't stick your hand near the blaze and you like who would do that it's a sign there for a reason somebody was you know simple enough to try it for some odd reason you know so you should you know not laugh at the sign but respect it hey seek counsel who would not seek counsel hey maybe you in certain cases that's why the sign is up you know seek counsel we're one body go the scriptures tell you how to solve and, and, and resolve these issues, man. So with that being said, I want to say call hello to Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shah, by Abu Kadash, that by Anasha apostles who are elders who rule well, bless citations to you, brothers out there teaching and enduring truth with sincerity. And sincere, I have a thumbs to quiet. Shalom.